Yeah, Rob, Julie, dozens and dozens of people filled City Park here for that vigil tonight. One of the most poignant moments happening when all of the speeches were over, a group of Deputy Burbridge's friends from high school, the class of 91, gathering to take a photo right here at this memorial. Now, one member of their tight-knit group no longer with them. On a quiet spring night, signs of gratitude in a fallen deputy's hometown. There really aren't words that are going to fill his place. Deputy Mark Burbridge grew up in Missouri Valley and worked in law enforcement here before moving on to Pottawatomie County. Former classmates and friends sharing memories of Mark. He was a great guy and he was guaranteed to light up whatever room he entered. There were moments of laughter. Like somebody else said, a lot of the memories that we have are probably aren't suitable for some of the ears that we have here. And reflection. We knew Mark from a season of our lives early on and um, continued to know him throughout. And I think the biggest blessing that I got from him is the power of joy. That joy is something Deputy Burbridge carried with him as he chased his dream of working in law enforcement. I turned around and all of a sudden there was Mark and he was the uh, investigator that they sent to look at the scene and all that stuff. And when he started doing his thing and doing his job, but yet able to make me laugh like he used to when I was in high school, I realized that that was why Mark was doing what he was doing. Now that spirit, only a memory, something this community will carry with it for years to come. He went on and he pursued his dreams and, um, you know, he died doing what he loved. And another thing many friends talked about tonight, Deputy Burbridge's infectious big smile. It's clear he left a lasting legacy here in his hometown. Reporting live in Missouri Valley, Alexandra Stone, KETV Newswatch 7.